Hey, how's it going? Uh, this is Rory from Rate My Funeral. That was Rate, by the way. Um, gonna do, uh, it's not really a tutorial today. This is a quick guide, comparison, call it what you will, I don't know really. Basically, I've got three PCs and I'm gonna look at the differences in render times between them. It's uh, quick, it's simple, there's not gonna be anything flashy, no technicalities, nothing. It's literally just gonna be rendering out three different images um, uh, on on three different machines. Uh, you'll see more what I mean when uh, when I begin. So uh, let's start off with the i5. Okay, so here we are in the i5 PC. Um, basically, I'm about to upgrade the processor in my machine I've got here um, from an i5 to an i7. Um, so I thought I would do this while I have the opportunity. Um, so this is an i5 2500 running at 3. 3.30 gigahertz and it has 8 gigs of RAM. Now I'm going to use the same three images so this is the uh, one that uses, it's got a bit of caustics and glass and that sort of thing so this is a good uh, benchmark one. Should be fairly quick even on this. Now you can notice here we've got four buckets and that's because the i5 is a four core processor um, so that wasn't too bad, that did that in 11 seconds. Um, just stretch this out so we can see what we're doing here. Uh, yeah, so that's that one. So I'm going to do another one now. Um, let's see, there's one here. This is this one uses global illumination, so this is quite a good one. Um, I'm just going to click preview and let this one render out. Right, okay, so it does its passes first and everything, so that's fine. Um, like I say, yeah, this is the i5. Uh, this is what I've been using um, from home recently just because it was what I had and um, it's, it does the job okay you know to be honest um, I, I do a fair amount with it but most of the time I'm leaving my renders to do overnight you know anything with uh, plenty of animation you know plenty of frames uh, it's a leave it overnight job so as you see this one uh, a little bit slower we're up to what 40 seconds so far you see down there just in the bottom right uh, bottom left and that one is done there we go so that finished up at 48 seconds uh, it's a lovely picture these are all just um, ones that just come in the studio pack by the way these images they come in the uh, the content browser of the studio pack uh, they're great for just sort of testing your speed quickly and easily we're going to finish off with Henry here because uh, this one's using the uh, physical renderer now the difference you'll notice here is we only get one bucket uh, which will appear in a moment it's uh, calculating the subsurface irradiance at the moment um, I love big words I know what every one of those meant um, yeah honest uh, so yeah so here it goes now one thing you will notice is this is a stunning looking picture this is really really nice so um, this demonstrates it quite well um, but as you can see it's, it's taking a little bit of time um, it's not too bad I mean bear in mind like I say this is the slowest of the of the processes I'm going to be uh, doing in this little um, experiment uh, and uh, yeah that seems to be coming along quite nicely You wouldn't really want to be using this one for an animation render though, would you? Oh, well, it's thinking about the hair. The hair is very important to it, obviously. Right, there we go. So that's done that now in 1 minute and 16. So uh, fairly respectable for the i5. Um, next we're going to move on to the i7 okay so I've now upgraded um, the processor and I'm now onto the i7 it's a 2600k uh, currently running at 3.40 gigahertz with 16 gigs of RAM let's load up the uh, the first image um, and we'll see how we get on with that so as you can see already we've now got eight buckets so there's a vast improvement because obviously it's four uh, it's it's eight core um, with this i7 processor it's actually four uh, physical cores and four virtual cores I believe I believe that's how it works so that's great so now we'll move on to the one that uses global illumination this nice quiet room 
and we'll put this one out. So now already you can see that that's just that's flying past now. So we've already got a vast improvement there. There it goes. So yeah, so all the buckets are obviously helping um, churn it all out. But look at that, that's much faster. 28 seconds that one was done in. So that's really good. Uh, let's move on to our friend Henry and uh, see how him and his hair get on. Where's he gone? There he is. Okay. So yeah, preparing hair, see. And now it's uh, calculating the subsurface irradiance again. That's obviously that's obviously very important. It very really is. Uh, without that, you know, the uh, the world would probably end, or you know, something like that. But there you go. If a tree falls in the forest, does it fall upwards? I don't know what I'm talking about now. I'm just kind of feeling, really, if I'm honest. But it's not so bad. Look, you can see that this is obviously a lot quicker. We're at 35 seconds already, and he's nearly done. He's just got that tricky last bit of hair to do, really. Uh, but you'll see that we've actually got two buckets on the physical renderer. There, we haven't any more. Oh, we have now. That's pretty cool. Well, that was pretty damn fast, actually. That's 50 seconds for that. So, uh, with that, I'm now going to head into the i7 Extreme. Okay, so we're into the final one now. And this is the i7 Extreme um, 3930 running at 3.2 gigahertz and it has 16 gigs of RAM. So this is the monster. This is my, my big machine that I use at the office to uh, render out the pro stuff. And as you can see, this one's got 12 cores. Uh, I think I believe in the same way it's six uh, physical and uh, six virtual. As you can see, that one that chucks that out in three seconds. So this this is fast. This is nice. This is uh, so. Let's give it a bit of global illumination, and we'll give this one a run through. And already you can see, look, it just uh, it just ramps through it. It's just unbelievably quick. The difference here, though, is the uh, the i5 cost about I think it was about 90 quid, uh, maybe it, maybe about 130 when I bought it. I don't know. Um, the i7 was 240, um, and then this i7 Extreme was uh, it was about 550, 600 quid or so, or maybe 500 quid, something like that. It was really really expensive, so uh, it kind of uh, you can see kind of why. Uh, where's Henry gone? There he is. Right. We'll just. Um, do the last one with uh, Henry. Do, 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 do. That way we're getting the we're seeing global illumination, we're seeing a bit of glass, and we're seeing um, the uh, physical renderer. Now, obviously, th this test doesn't really mean anything specific. It's just when I was hunting around as for what CPU to go for, uh, I found it quite difficult to find anything sort of up to date um, on you know just with some basic straightforward information. You know, what sort of render times am I looking at depending on what CPU I buy? So I figure out while I've got the opportunity, I'll put this together, uh, and it will show you at least you know it gives you some idea. You you can see the clear difference between the three. Look at that, he's down in 32 seconds. Um, so now let's give them a quick race, and we'll do all three at the same time. And uh, now obviously you can see that um, the extreme has won by quite a long way. Um, but it, maybe it gives you an idea. Maybe you think it's useless. Maybe you think it's rubbish. I don't care. Well, I do, but well, I don't. Well, I don't know. But um, I've done it anyway, and it's there now. So what are you going to do? Um, feel free to visit the site, ratemyfuneral.com. Uh, there's plenty of tutorials and stuff on there. I'm always working on stuff to put on there. Uh, there's photography challenges. If you happen to be in photography, join in with all of that sort of thing. You know, it's a, quite a fun little site. Uh, and also, I've got the Facebook page. Feel free to go ahead and like it. All right. Um, I think that's pretty much it for this one. There, for, there we go. The i5's caught up. So uh, I shall uh, catch you all a bit later. Bye for now.